Okay, let's walk through coding an emergency room visit. Just like any other visit, you wanna read through the patient documentation, determine what the patient was seen for, the diagnosis, and what service or procedure was performed, the procedure. So in this scenario, our patient crew cook comes in a two and a half month old male who's been sick for the last three to four days. His mother has described congested sounds with cough and decreased appetite. He has no fever, no rhinorrhea. Nobody else at home is currently ill. No cigarette smoke exposure. She brought him to the ER this morning after a bad coughing spell. He did not have any apnea during the episode. Past medical history is unremarkable. He did have his two-month immunizations, vital signs. I won't read through all of those. And then diagnostic studies. We did a chest x-ray that was unremarkable. The doctor's assessment is upper respiratory infection. The treatment is to use the bulb syringe and saline nose drops. If there's any mucus in the anterior nares, smaller but more frequent feeds, discuss proper sleeping position, and then recheck if there's any fever or if he's not better in the next three days. So let's open up our coding books, right? You need your ICD-10 CM code book for the diagnosis code, and then your CBT code book for the evaluation and management service that was performed in the ER. So let's open up our ICD-10 CM diagnosis book first. We are coding what the doctor says in this assessment right here, upper respiratory infection, right? That's our diagnosis. And then our procedure is the emergency room visit, and we'll do the E&M code for that. The chest X-ray is part of the hospital's charge master, so we don't physically code that out. That is a hard-coded in the facility charge master. We do note that it's done, and I'll explain that as we get to the CPT code, but for now, open up your book, and our main term is infection, right? You never go to the location or the anatomical site. You go to the noun or the main term first. So we're going to go to I to infection. So I just brought up an electronic version. You guys all want the hard copy version, but they're identical. This is just easier to share in a video. So our main term again is infection and then infection of what? Well, respiratory. So then we're going to go down to R, to respiratory. Respiratory. And then ours was upper, right? It was a URI or upper respiratory infection. So then you want to click on that, um, which for you would be to go to the tabular and look at AO 6.9. We want to look for any includes, excludes, notes. We're reading right here, it says use additional code to identify agent if known. Our agent is not known. The physician did not document the cause of the infection. So we're just going to code JO6.9. Now let's do the emergency room visit, which again is with the emergency room ER, e &M code. So open up your CPT book to the ER section, the 99281 to 99285, and let's look at those codes and get the grid. You can find this at the beginning of the e &M section in your code book, or I'm gonna bring it up on the screen as well. So here's the grid. Again, you can find the explanation of what makes up an MDM in your CBT book. Remember that in the ER, we cannot use time like the other office or outpatient settings. In the ER, time is not used for part of the code um, leveling just the medical decision making. So with that, our patient had one stable acute illness, right? And category one for the test and documentations, we ordered the test x-ray, we looked at it. So that meets 99283 and our risk of morbidity or mortality is low. So our e and is 99283, again, based on that chest X-ray that the physician ordered, right? It makes our level low. So the two codes that we have for this are J06.9 
and 99283.